Because I'm mentally ill and chronically online, I like reading messed up stories. Stories that I would never show my friends because if I did, they would have me involuntarily committed and ostracized from my family. Stories that make me clutch my pearls like when old ladies see interracial couples. And because I don't want to be alone in a psych ward, I thought I should share some of this brain rot. So here's some of the most messed up, traumatizing manhwa I have ever read. Oh, and if this wasn't already obvious, this is your trigger warning. For what? Everything. There's a little something in each story to trigger somebody. Oh, and before I begin, I just want to start by saying, I am sorry if I mispronounce any of these names. It will likely happen, so be gentle with me. Now that that's out of the way, buckle in, kids. We're about to get real incest coded and disgrace some family lineages. An uncomfortable truth is about Yo Saab, a quiet kid who loves his older brother, Jayhot. Like, loves his older brother too much. So much so that three chapters in, I had to take a second and pray it wasn't going where I thought it was going. But then it goes there. It goes to a place you didn't expect, with Yo Saab in an interrogation cell suspected of eight murders. Yo Saab catching bodies he's like he in jail for life and got nothing to lose did he actually do it why did he do it who knows read it and find out J.O. hates his life. He is a prostitute forced into paying off his father's debt. He just wants it all to stop for someone in his suffering. He doesn't care who or what it is. Just then, his savior comes in the form of a serial killer who was stalking him. He wakes up in some remote area tied to a chair along with his abusive pimp. J.O. will do whatever he has to do to survive and never go back to that life, even if it means cozying up to a serial killer. This mall was what I assume they hand out when you go to hell so everyone who likes this will be able to read it over and over again in the place they belong. Yoon Bum is obsessed with Sang Woo, so much so he begins to stalk him. Eventually, like any rational stalker, he breaks into Sang Woo's home only to find out that Sang Woo, his one-sided beloved, is a psychopathic murderer who keeps people chained up in his basement. The gates of heaven have been closed off to me. Obey Me is honestly like a mix of killing, stalking, and pawned revenge. Jin Yu was bullied severely in school and has become a social outcast. He hasn't left his house for over a year besides to get noodles from the local convenience store. Everything is going fine for Jin Yu and then he is drugged and wakes up in some room. His kidnapper is a former classmate and fellow bully victim, Yu Wu. But why? Who knows? I just noticed motherfucker weird. I'm starting to notice a trend in Monwood that it's always when you hate your life the most is when you get kidnapped. Which if I stop uploading, we know what happened. Do Yun is working at a cell phone store, hates his life, blah blah blah, who cares. Taking a smoke break, he is kidnapped by some dude with a huge scar on his face that is obsessed with memories. Who's? No idea. But he kidnapped a dude and built a warehouse to keep him locked away in it. So it's safe to say dude's fucked up in the head. This one is familiar to obey me though. I don't read a lot of manhwa, so this could just be because of the genre, but people getting severely bullied in these stories seems to be so common, I'm worried for Korean kids. Are they okay? Jin gets mercilessly bullied even by the nerds, which if that wasn't bad enough, you know what they call him? Glass eye, cause he has a glass eye. That's horrible. Imagine if you had a classmate in a wheelchair and they called him Big Wheel. The story starts off with Jin killing his tutor in cold blood while his father is away on a business trip. But how can someone who doesn't even have the courage to stand up to bullies kill so mercilessly? Well, there you go. That's six mom with a read if you are just as messed up in the head as I am. Thanks for watching. Consider following me on other social media and subbing to my channel because I'm obviously not going to heaven after this video. So help me support my vices while I'm here on earth.